Hi, my name is Nadine Kohli Moyo. I want to pass my testimony about what happened in my life about my son, how I realized how much God loved me. I started to realize that God loved me when I got pregnant and then there was a time that I was supposed to deliver the child. I got there to Tembisa Hospital. While I was about to deliver the baby, they found out that the baby is not breathing nicely. And then they, they said that the child is going to die if I didn't give the birth to the Caesar. I gave the birth to the Caesar. And then I stayed at the hospital. I spent two days without seeing my son. I didn't know where he is. And then Mama Faith called the nurses at the hospital. They started to look up. All the white, they found out my son was in the white for the children that they were sick. He was in the white for, they said, I got there and then they told me that my son is Down syndrome and then he has a heart inside the heart, inside the heart, the, wall, the heart, there is a hole. Then, like, I started to cry, I feel bad, why God give me such a thing while I'm young, why all of those things that happened to me while I was expecting to give a bit a child that is going to make me happy. Now I was I started to feel pain in my heart and then while I was at the hospital I feel like there's no one who's going to who's going to who's who's caring about me. So those things they were one of the things that the way I passed through. Then there was the time for me to get out of the hospital. I get I get out of the hospital and then like I come here at home, there was people that were comforting me, making me to feel good. And then I realized I started to be strong with God. That's the time when I started to be strong with the God. Because of the first time I was not serious with the, with the word of Christ, without, with, about Christ. I was just taking it easy. Then I started to realize that God loved me. And then like my son was at the hospital, I started going to hospital going there every day while he was at the hospital. Everyone was comforting me, telling me to not be worried. God is in everything, is in control. No, he knows why he made me to be in this situation. Then like we're praying here at home, praying every day, praying for people to get, get relieved. And then like, there was the time for him to come out of the hospital. They take the x-ray while before I get out of the hospital. They said that I must help the x-ray before I get out of the hospital. Then I left those x-rays. They said that I must go to the Steve Biko in Pretoria for, to go and see the special doctors. I was still like in my heart since I came out to the hospital. In my heart, I believe that my son, there was no Down syndrome. There was no hole inside the heart because by those days, by the time when Sipo was supposed to get out of the hospital, that thing of what they said, the doctors started to rebuke it and say, it's not what Sipo has. It's their mind that they were thinking about it. They are thinking they're not sure about what they are saying. I stayed there. I was always going at the hospital for checkup, going to the hospital at the for checkup. But we're still praying. Knowing this thing is, is not what was meant to for me. God, God wanted me to be strong about his weight and knowing how he, he is in this world, how his works is doing. Then like I started to be strong knowing God. Lots of things happened in my life. I realized that God is someone, is he that he can't leave you in every situation that is bad. He's always be with you. He's always by his side. If you accept him and say he is my Lord and my Savior and know him as your liberator, mean that you will be always on your side every time. Then like we're praying, one day I go there for taking the date for going to Steve Biko. They checked him again. They said I must go to the x-ray to go and take the x-ray that I took in the first time. I found that the x-ray they were lost. That's the time that I realized those x-rays they were not lost. 
it was God that was trying to show me this is over. It's not supposed to be continuing. That's why they lost the x-rays. By the time I was thinking that now it's my time to end up to go to Tim Visa. But the worst that that thing God said no. Let's pick this thing to continue to verify, to show the people that thing what what you are that what they were saying the doctors is not the truth. Let's go, let's go and take some other x ray. I go the other day to take the x ray. We took the x ray and then the doctors they checked their heart. They said the heart is normal. He's breathing nicely. But I I was still have to go to Victoria. I go to Victoria. I go there, they check his heart. I can't believe what I found. I found that the heart was sealed. There was nothing. They said he's fine, he's breathing, he's normal with, like everyone. But in the first time I like gave birth, he was begging to breathe. The way he was, I didn't believe that he was supposed to be like now. Now he's changed, he's normal. If, I, if you saw him, you can't believe it's the child that they said he had Down syndrome, he had a hole inside the heart. Now, like I go there to Tembisa to take the result. At Tembisa, they told me that I'm not supposed to come back anymore unless I need to go there. But now it's fine. He's growing, he's good, he's laughing, doing it. He's such a nice, car, nice child for me. I believe God is a reason. There was a reason for me to pass all those ways. And I'm happy with that. Thank you. Thank you.